Hola, amigo. Uh, this is something we had before. I think we had this at the opening tap last year. That sounds about right. And it's uh, salt and sea from the guys around the corner from Flying Fish, Flying Fish yep. Brewing Company. Memories are made by the sea, and this session sour is inspired by evenings on the boardwalk. Enticing aromas of a strawberry and lime evoke hints of salt water, providing a souvenir twist to this unique style. And it's got superior pilsen, wheat, and acidulated malt. It's got Columbus hops, some Chico ale yeast. It's 4.3% by volume, and the IBUs are only eight. So, okay. It's a, you know, a session, a sour session is what it is. All right, I'm in. Uh, okay. All right. So the pouring's done. Looks good. I'm it's happy. pretty. It's got a little. Uh, it's got a little Ferris wheel. It's like the Jersey. Sh- it's like the Jersey Boardwalk. It does. That's what it's. It's, it's the Salton Sea. You're down the boardwalk. Take going for a ride. Is it? Is it Wildwood? Is it Ocean City? What do you think? Uh, it smells a little too clean to be Wildwood. I'd probably say it was Ocean City. Yeah, you know, you know what the first smell of summer is like when you get when you when you cross the causeway and you get that back bay. Yep. Or, or is that the water treatment plant? Which one is it? Eh, I still get this. I count it as a smell of summer. There you go. You know what? I really smell the strawberries on this. I get the strawberries, I get the salt, and then I get the funk. You know, it's always got that sour funk to it. <laughs> the, well, I mean, I guess the strawberries are really tart, so it tastes like, you know, when's strawberry season coming up? Next couple of weeks? Yeah, yeah. Right, and there's like we that small window of opportunity. Blueberries and strawberries aren't too far behind. Yeah, it's a lot of strawberries. But you know what it's almost like? You know, like a like a strawberry shortcake. You yep. know, like when you get that, or like in the middle. You ever said the ones that have like the macerated strawberries? You ever, you ever have the uh, instead of the tasty cake French apple pie, you get the strawberry apple pie, the strawberry the pie, strawberry. but they have the, the, the white icing across the top of it. That's what no. it smells like to me because that's huh. the macerated strawberries. It's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. jammed strawberries. Which is good. I like strawberries. I mean, I'm a good. I, I'm a fan of the strawberry jelly. But that's the predominant note here, and there's a little sweetness yeah. too, like that. And, you and, know, like uh, like a shortcake. It's like a strawberry shortcake. And and maybe the hint the hint of lime. There's not no. a lot of lime in it on the nose. No, not on the nose. Maybe it'll come through no. on the palate. No. So I'm gonna go in for a taste. Color wise, by the way. It's, you know, it's just uh, almost like a little bit cloudy, but I wouldn't say I'm getting any of the strawberry color in it. There's no, like, pink tint. No, I'd say it's, it's a little cloudy for a Pilsner. You know, it's about mm-hmm. that color. Yep. I'm going for a taste. That is fizzy, and it is tart. Yeah, but I don't find it to be overly tart. I think it's nicely balanced. Oh, no, no, no. I think it's pretty nicely balanced. It's got a little maltiness to it, like a little... Like a like a like a tea biscuity malt, and then you get the little bit of then you get the fruit. The the nose, I'm sorry, the strawberry isn't as strong on the palate as it was on the nose. And I, it, I think you get a lot more citrus on the, the palate. You know what? You though? pick up more of the lime. It, it's coming through on the aftertaste though. Mm-hmm. Like the strawberries come through on the aftertaste. You know those little cookies you get, the little biscuity cookies with like the the thumb of the, the jam and the, that's yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. You get the little strawberry jam with the biscuit. Mm-hmm. That's a nice flavor. That's a nice beer. It's just an easy drinking sour. If there's if there's such a thing, this is what it is. It's it's what they call it. It's a session sour. It's yeah. And at four point three percent, you know, it, it's a session on a hot summer day. You can go down pretty easy. Yep. If I mowed my lawn, I'd be drinking this afterwards. <laughs> when I watch my son mow the lawn, I can drink one of these. Afterwards. Yeah, you know, I noticed that. You farm that out. The grass was getting high, so I was told, told to uh, do something about that. So so you put in the work. I noticed. How do you do? And he sent me my first invoice. He's going to bill you? He thinks he's getting paid. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry, don't you have a roof over your head? I'm sorry. Didn't I just buy you a pair of size 14 shoes? Please. To, 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 to use my lawnmower and my gasoline. He thinks he's getting paid. Uh-huh. That, uh, boy, that's nice. I like that. That's, I'm that's not good. A big, uh, I'm not a big sour guy. Yeah. But I do like I do like fruit beers. And I think yep. this, to me, it, it bridges that gap for me. That's nice. It's like, uh, like beer meets like strawberry daiquiri. 
but not yeah. over. It's not overly sweet. No, you know, it's definitely more beer. But then on the back end, I get that little bit of strawberry. I get a little bit of lime, maybe maybe a touch of salt. It's not really salty though. I don't think so. I don't find it to be salty. Yeah, maybe maybe they uh, they talk about the salt as a, a balance to the sweetness. I, I wouldn't go like I, again. It's not mind blowing, so I wouldn't go into the A category. But I'll give it a solid B plus for what it is. Yeah, this is an, an 87, 88. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a good beer. It's nice. It's enjoyable. You know, it's not overpowering. It's just very easy drinking. So, cheers to our neighbors at Flying Fish. What's the guy's name? Gene? Gene, yeah. Gene, he's a good friend of the Wookiees, isn't he? He, he The Wookiee has mentioned him on more than one occasion, yes. Yep. So, Gene, virtual cheers. Gene's still involved? Sure. Virtual cheers? Virtual cheers. Oh, what? look at that. Oh, that was good. I was late. I was late. Oh, okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Right? There we go. There you go. Not right bad. On time. Very good. So and, and anyway, we'll have to find our way out there during yep. the uh, the lockdown. You know, I lockdown, believe they're just... still doing some some uh, you know, no touch. We'll bring it right to your car. Maybe we can I'm, go out there I'm, and pick up a mix pack for them and see I'm what else thinking, they got. I'm thinking once the lockdown is lifted, we're never going to see any of our uh, cohabitants. Ever again. They're going to be like, all right, we're had enough of you. We're out. <laughs> so, sir, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Sure. And Anytime. cheers. Salud. Cheers.